Hi everyone. In this video, we will introduce the functions of our new Rogue Dashcam C1 camera. We will show you how to connect it to your smartphone and then also how to install. So first we're going to connect to power and turn it on. Card. It's going to ask you to insert your card. Make sure that you have already formatted your TF card to FAT32 file system. And keep in mind that the highest supported is 128 gigabyte. Then you'll have to turn it on again. Okay, you'll see that that red light is blinking. That means it is automatically recording. So first, on the very left, you have the red circle. It says EMER, that's the emergency button. You click that if you want to record something that you're seeing on the road. Next is the mute. You can hit that if you do not want your conversations to be recorded, or you do. Third is the file. And here is where you'll see your loops or also your locked files. And then we have the menu button. So first in the menu, we have the resolution. So you can set your desired video resolution. You have three different options. Next is the loop recording. And you can choose one minute three minutes, five minutes, or 10 minutes. Then we have your sensitivity for gravity. You can have low, medium, high, or off. Then we have the parking monitor, on or off. Here we have the Wi-Fi, on or off. Then we have the date and time, that's where you set it. Then we have your language. You can choose between English, Dutch, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, Italian, and French. Then we have the LCD auto off. So if you turn off the screen backlight, you can here. Then we have the sound. If you don't want to hear the sound, you can turn it off or on. Then we have your default. So you can go to your default settings. Your format, this is where you can um, format the memory card. Here's the watermark where you can hide the display. Then we have the frequency, you can choose 50 or 60 hertz. And then the about button which you can check your current version. Okay, so to connect your phone to your dash cam, you want to download the app from either Google Play or the App Store. We have downloaded it already, so let's open it up. Okay, we also want to turn on our Wi-Fi on the dash cam, so we're gonna turn that on. And you'll see that red disconnected dot should change to connected once we find our dash cam in settings. Okay, so we just connect to the Rove dash cam. We are connected. All right, so here, now our phone is connected to our camera. And first we can see the videos that have already been accumulating on our camera. Second, this is where you can download to your phone if you want. And then here is where you can access the settings, the same menu options on the camera, but you can do it on your phone. And one difference, you can change your Wi-Fi password over here on your phone. Okay. So next we're going to show you the installation. 
to install the camera, I'm first going to connect the mount to the camera. Then I'm going to make sure I have a very clean window and then decide where I want to place it. I want to have it as centered as possible, but at the same time not blocking my vision. Okay. So. Okay, then I'm gonna push on it a little bit and remove the camera. And then make sure it is completely secure. So we have a 10 foot long cord to work with. So my plan is to hide it up inside the window. And then we have this tool that was supplied. And this is what you can use to separate the area so you can hide the cord. So my plan is to go through the window down this way, down around here, down along the bottom and then all the way to the plug. Okay, so now we have the cord installed. Like I said, you can see a little bit right there. And then we just need to connect it to power. And there you go. So now we're all set. So now we're just going to do a quick test of the parking mode. Okay, so now we're going to test the parking mode. So I will shut down the car and we will see the countdown and you have 60 seconds until the dash cam turns off. So at that point, I will shut my door and see if the parking mode is activated. We set it on medium. So we'll wait and see. So the camera has turned off. Now I'm going to shut my door and test. And we should see the light turn red and start recording. Okay, so it has turned on. Let's see, we have About 30 seconds of recording that's going to happen. And it's working. Okay. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next video.